Alright folks, how's it going? Welcome to another pick up video. Uh, this is mostly sports titles and uh, mostly for the PlayStation 2. Now there's a story behind this and I'll just uh, get the games here. In this bag here, yeah. Yeah, there's a story behind this. Uh, basically my sister was working for a new PS2 because ours was broken. Uh, she had the pink one and uh, it was broken and um, she wanted a new one. And uh, basically somebody locally um, was actually selling a PlayStation 2 plus about 40 games and selling them for about 50 pounds on them. So that was a pretty good deal I would say for the console, the controller, uh, the memory card, she got a memory card and uh, 40 games even though the majority of them were sports titles. And uh, yeah, so I've got a few, uh, three PlayStation 1 games and about 6, 7 PS2 games. Uh, so yeah, like I say, mainly sports titles, so if you don't like sports titles you won't like this video probably. And I've never even played any of these games yet. Uh, there's one that I do actually own, uh, but there's a reason why I've got it, and I'll, sh I'll show you, obviously. And, um, yeah, I've not played any yet, so I don't know if they're working, and I don't really know my opinions on them. But, yeah, I've only got them yesterday, and I've not really had too much time. So, um, so yeah. So she kept about, what, 32 games on them. There's quite a lot of wrestling games in there as well, which I've got wrestling games, but she quite likes wrestling games, so... She playing on got some wrestling games. <laughs> right, so let's just start off with uh, the PS PS one, I think. Yeah, I think there's only three of them. So the sports titles. Uh, this one is NBA Showtime NBA on NBC. What a bloody title! Uh, so yeah, it's a basketball game. Never played a basketball game apart from when I was with a friend when I used to uh, when I used to work with my granny. Um, in our old place house. And um yeah, I used to have a, a next door neighbour we used to play a, an NBA uh, I'm not sure if it was NBA, but it was a basketball game for the Sega Mega Drive and it was really, really fun, you know, boom shakalaka. It was really fun. I don't remember the name of the, the game, but I've never played a basketball game since. So it's gonna be quite interesting. It's made by Midway. I don't really know if it's gonna be any good or not, but you know, it's it's worth a try, you know. Comes complete with manual. And you'll see this uh, couple of scratches, but I think it'll be okay that one. Next PS2 game, uh, PS1 game, sorry, is Knockout Kings 2000. What is it? No, it's not Platinum, it's EA Classic. Uh, so there's a boxing game. Drum in cases, trash, really. Traction scarred. <coughs> Right, the disc is not too bad actually. Again, minor uh, minor scratches, but nothing that should affect gameplay. So um, yeah, pretty good. Knockout Kings. This will be the third boxing game I played. Prince Nassim Hamid box on the PS One at I own, and I used to have Fight Night round round three on the PS Three, but I didn't like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to play that. It's got like a it's got like Muhammad Ali, Lennox Lewis. You know, I didn't watch any of them in their boxing, but here are, you know, their legends of the of the sport, you know. And the Prince of Team Harman and that could be. Eh, uh, I don't know. And next and the last PS one game is two games in one. It is double or seven, tomorrow never dies, and double or seven, the world is not enough. Uh double or seven tomorrow never dies, that's the game that I own. And it's a woman really, really fun game. I love that game to pieces. And of course, here we have Double Seven, The World Is Not Enough, which I have never played before. So, um, two games in one. Oops. Crack. <laughs> Crack staircase. Right, um. So, yeah, complete with mana. Really good condition mana. Oh, which mana is a really good condition apart? I bet you couldn't say the same for the disc there. Uh, so, tomorrow never dies. Um, Quite a lot of scratches on that, but I'm not too bored if that doesn't work because I already own, I already have the game, and the world is not enough, which is pretty good condition actually that one. So it's good, it's good. Come on, die. And the world is not enough. Yeah. So here we go, the PS2 games, and uh, we'll start off with the non-sport files, which is only one game, and it is. Uh, I didn't really like, what was it, yeah, the original, I didn't really like the original, 
I wasn't really sure whether I had the original or the second one, but I didn't like the original. Um, but I'll give it a shot, this one, and it is a uh, time splitter, future perfect. Time splitter, future perfect. Uh, manual. <laughs> I love that disc, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. <laughs> Why has it got monkey in the cover, man? And and the the disc are I don't know, you know. Um, I might find out when I actually play the game. Maybe I don't know. Disc is a few minor scratches, but I think this will work okay as well. Yes, I didn't. I like the original, so I'm not expecting much. But I think this is one of the newer games, so time spotter game, so it could be better, and I might enjoy it more. See, it's got had net play as well back in the day, so must have been big. I don't know. Next is some old sports titles, and it is first one is Rocky Legends. I'm not really expecting much of this. I don't know. I, I just don't really expect this to be too great. But uh, it's boxing. And uh, yeah, another game for the collection, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I haven't really watched Rocky. The film Rocky, I know people are going to hate on me for that. But I've never watched Rocky, and someone paid 14 an inch for that at W. Smith back in the day. We never paid that for a game with S, because, you know, I wouldn't really expect it to be that great, to be honest. But, you know, this put quite a lot of scratches, but hopefully it'll work okay. And it's made by Ubisoft, Ubisoft, the people that uh, developed Haze. What the Haze, man? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, next game is a sports game again. This is another sport that I don't watch, I absolutely hate it. I just can't bring myself to watch it on telly. But I thought I'd give the game a shot, and it's always worth a shot, you know. And, uh, cause, you know, I don't like cricket, but the game, I played the game, it was pretty fun. Um, but this one is Rugby 2004. Pretty generic title, wasn't it? Rugby 2004. Uh, who's got, um that Johnny, Wil yeah, Johnny Wilkinson, I think. I don't watch rugby, but I think that's uh, Johnny Wilkinson that plays for England. So, uh, yeah, rugby. I'll give it a shot. Don't know anything about rugby apart from you run with a ball and tackle people and stuff. It's a bit crazy. Uh, but yeah, rugby. I'll give it a shot, but I'm not expecting much. And the disc, I'm just going put the manual again. And disc is, oof, that's a lot of scratches. That's quite a couple of deep scratches, I think. So that might not work. But if it doesn't work, I won't be too bothered, because it's rugby, and I don't like rugby. I just want to give it a shot, you know. Next one is another sports tail. I need to stop saying that because you already know it's a sports tail. It is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007. Well, I missed this one. I had 2004, 2006, and 2008, so I missed this one. But I think that'll be quite enjoyable. I mean, look at, if I look at the back of it, I mean, I thought it looks, you know, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, the all new tour mode, team tour mode, recruit an unstoppable squad and see if you have what it takes to take down Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods' team of champions. So I'm guessing you can build a team of your dreams, so I'll have, well, depending on who he'll have, I'll probably have people like John Daly, if John Daly's in the game, John Daly, Retief Goosen, uh, Recon, Ian Poulter, people like that, I'll have them, Ian, Recon. Adam Scott, maybe, if he's, if he's not in Tiger Woods' team, and uh, try and take him down. So yeah, Tiger Woods 2007. Complete with manual. Excellent condition manual. Why is all these manuals in so good condition, but the discs are a bit meh? Oh my god, oh my bloody hell. That's never going to work. That is never going to work, fellas. That's a mess. It's a bloody mess, that is. God, it looks like some kids used it as a body boomerang or something. Smack it against the wall. It's not that, it's not that bad a game, is it? It's pretty good. Don't think that'll work. Now, two football games. I was going to say sports games. And now, two football games. Um, Pro Evolution Soccer 6. 
Never played, never played that pro motion soccer on the PlayStation 2. So it's going to be a, it's a chance to play, you know. So I think it's got set with it the back there. Um, I'm, I'm not really a big pro motion soccer fan. I did like two of nine on the PS3. I thought it was decent, it was pretty good. I thought the commentary was better than FIFA. And, uh, but I don't like how a lot of the teams are unlicensed and stuff. That puts me off. And that guy puts me off with the John Terry. His ugly mush. Don't like John Terry at all. So, ah, a lot of scratches, but I don't think they're that deep, so I think that'll probably still work. Again, it's put on excellent condition manual, so be interesting to see uh, how that game is compared to the PS2 FIFAs, because I love them, they're really good. Pro Evolution Soccer 2008 featuring. His ugly mush, as uh, Mike Owen. I like Mike Owen, but Ronaldo is a cocky little shake. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't like Ronaldo. Right. Respect him, he's a great player, but I don't like him. I'm sorry. He's a cheap route. So, again, complete with manual. Disc. Oh my body hair, this is worse. This is worse than Tiger Woods. This is, oh my god. My voice is going high enough, because I'm not shocked. Oh my god. Wow. Definitely been using a boomerang or something. Or a tea coaster or something, I don't really know. It's in a hell of a mess. It's not going to work for a bit now either. Because usually you can see, you know, what games are going to work and what games aren't. And I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> it might work to a certain degree, but it will freeze and a uh, season mode or something. It will freeze because. It's just so badly scratched. Next game, another game I've never really played of, uh, another game series or genre, I suppose, I've never really played anything of, and it is Snowboard Racer 2. Actually, I tell why. I've played uh, Cool Borders. Cool Borders 2, I've played that one. Uh, but I've not played the PS2 one. So, yeah, it's Midas. So, I think it's a budget title, it's a cheap mate game. Four characters, twelve costumes and stuff, but yeah, pretty, pretty cheap made game. Not really too much content. Uh, great condition manual, really. This, oh, really good, really good condition. Yes, really good condition. Fantastical. And the last game, which I want to play. And I probably won't ever, I will probably won't end up saving the game. Because so listen to this fella, listen to this. <sighs> to save the game, minimum 7,120 kilobytes. That is what? That is almost four times more than LMA Manager. What makes this game so special that it requires that much save there? And it's Championship Manager 5. What about this game requires so much to save the game compared to LMA Manager? I can't see this game having more than LMA Manager. LMA Manager is a pretty, you know, it's a big enough game. You know, it's got, what, England, Scotland, Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, France, Holland, and uh, Portugal. But it's Championship Manager. This is only going to have England, isn't it? So, I don't know how this is going to, how it requires all that data. That is almost, that is almost a full one of these. A full one of these. So I'll play it. I'll play it. I won't save it because that's just ridiculous. I'd have to delete a whole load of stuff off my memory card and that is just not happening. I mean, I might have... I might have 5,000, 6,000 available on this, maybe, because this is a 16 megabyte one, a non-official one. So I mean, I could delete a couple of things off this, but yeah, with that, man, I don't want to delete stuff off, just to play this, and it's maybe not even a good game, so. Yeah, Championship Manager 5, the world's number one football management game. This was, what, 2005? LMA Manager was up in 2005. I thought LMA Manager was supposed to be... Uh, the best management game for the PS2 at the time. 
Anyway, this is turning into a bit of a rat instead of a pickup video. <laughs> Championship Manager 5. Oh my god, surprise, surprise. Excellent condition, Mario. A disc. Ah, minor scratches. I think it'll be okay. So then, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I like hopefully. Uh, sorry. <sighs> That's really inappropriate. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed making it. I need to really make some more content this video. Uh, this video for this uh, channel. I need to make a lot more content because I've been a bit stale lately as far as videos go. PS1 game collection. I will try to do next week sometime. You know, when people will see me a couple of weeks. One part every th uh, three or four nights or something because I've got a big collection. So it will take uh, about seven or eight parts because I do like to, to talk about it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll try and make some more content soon, and I'll catch you all later. See you guys, thanks for watching.